I'm going to show you how to build the user interface for your Hangman game. I'm using Microsoft Excel, so I'm going to use Excel VBA, but you could just as easily use Microsoft Word. It's the same programming language. The Excel workbook is going to be the container for my program code, so the first thing I need to do is save this workbook in a special way. If you were using Word, you'd have to save the document in a special way. This is how. File, Save As. I'm going to find myself somewhere to save it, first of all. I've already got a folder. Give it a sensible name. And then this is the really important part. I'm going to change the Save As type to Excel Macro Enabled Workbook, XLSM. That means that any programs I write will be able to run. So let's save that, and you can see here the title has changed. Right, now I'm going to go into the VBA programming environment, and I can do that by holding down the Alt key on my keyboard and pressing F11. Alt F11, that toggles me into the programming environment. You should see two windows over here, a Project Explorer, and a properties window. If you don't see them, you can switch them on from the view menu. There's a couple of options here, look. Mine are already there. Now what I need to do is insert a user form, and I can do that by right-clicking anywhere inside the Project Explorer and selecting Insert User Form. And there it is. I can resize it if I want to. I can see I've got a caption on the top, which at the moment says user form 1. I'll change that in a moment. Oh, and I've also got a toolbox here, which I can use to place controls onto that form. So let's start by changing the caption. You can see here it says user form 1. Because the form is selected, the properties window is showing me the properties of the form. And I can see here is the caption. Let's change that to hangman. If I wanted to, there's lots of other things I can change as well, such as the background colour of the form, and I can even change the border style. I'm keeping mine nice and simple for now. The next thing I want to do is place a command button on the form, which I'll use to start a new game. So here we go, on the toolbox I can see command button, click on that, and draw it onto the form. Now there's a few things I need to change in the properties window. First of all, I'm going to change the caption. That needs to be New Game. The other thing I'm going to change is the name of this command button. When I look inside the Properties window here, I'll just widen it up a little bit, I can see that it's called Command Button 1. Let's change that to CMD New Game. Now this is a little convention that you can use, CMD, because it's a command button. You'll see why it's important to use this convention later on. And then New Game, because, well, that's what it does. Notice as well, I'm not allowed spaces in the name, so I've used capital letters here and here. We call this camel notation. The next thing I want on this form is a label. When I click back onto the form, you can see the toolbox appears again. This is the label control, and I'm going to draw one next to the New Game button. This label won't display anything just yet, so I'm going to take out the caption altogether. And I'm also going to rename the label. I'm going to call it LBL, because it's a label, and Message, because it's going to be used to display a message to the user. I'm going to place another label on the form to tell the user where to type their guess. I'll rename that LBL Guess, and I'll change the caption this time. I do want a caption, and I want it to always be visible. I can resize this if I want to as well. If you look in the Properties window, you can do things like change the font, change the font size, change the colour, background style, background colour. You can make this look a lot more interesting than it does at the moment. We're going to need a text box. Now this is where the user will input their guess. 
and I'm going to draw that right next to the label and I'm going to rename it txt because it's a text box txt guess. This doesn't have a caption. And finally we need one more command button so the user can actually submit their guess. So we'll put that here. I'm going to call this the go button. cmd go. Again notice I'm using mixed case a capital G there and of course I want to change its caption as well. So there it is, my user interface. I'm now ready to start writing code.